people were getting fatter and we were less active. So I thought, well, maybe there's a way to resolve this. That's Glenn Gaser. He studies the effects of exercise, looking at how many calories we burn while doing things like walking. And after nearly 50 years of research, he got a brilliant idea for a new study from one of his favorite shows. Monty Python, the Flying Circus. I'm a big fan of Monty Python. I mean, I don't see how anyone could not be a fan of Monty Python. And of course, the Ministry of Silly Walks was one of my favorite skits. <laughs> anyone who's seen the video knows that, wow, that looks like pretty good physical activity. My colleagues and I basically got this idea, wouldn't it be fun to just see how energetically costly those silly walks actually were? Just how many calories they burned. I see. You're really interested in silly walks, aren't you? Oh, rather. And so Professor Gaser conducted a study. He first had 13 volunteers walk normally, and after that, do their best to copy the very silly Mr. Teabag walk and the Mr. Pewty walk. They watched the video, chuckled a little bit, like, you really want me to do this? Ventilation and gas exchange were recorded to measure how much energy they used and calculate how many calories they burned. They had a lot of fun with it. As a matter of fact, I could hear some chuckles underneath the face mask while they were walking. It took me a half a century to come to this, all right? You know, my life's work has been building up to this, and it took that long. After measuring the results of the study, it turns out the Mr. Pewdie walk is about as intense as walking normally. It's not particularly silly, is it? But the Mr. Teabag walk? It turned out they were basically burning calories at about two and a half times the rate of normal walking, which is actually quite extraordinary. To give you some perspective on this, walking Mr. Teabag style was actually the equivalent or very similar to running at about five or six miles per hour. If someone just did approximately 11 minutes per day of Mr. Teabag style high energy walking, they would meet the public health guidelines for vigorous intensity physical activity. You know, this is a, a humorous study, but the idea is to try to make our walking less efficient. There might be ways that individuals through their own imagination could make their movements a little bit less efficient. That would allow us to expend more calories and in such a way that we wouldn't actually have to do more physical activity. 